really the same. Okay. All right. Is that better? Yeah. All right. So this is the boring part, and that's the cute part. So you have to tolerate the boring part. <laughs> Okay, the practical life component of the Montessori toddler environment is a series of exercises that include everyday tasks and materials. The four areas of practical life, which, you know, Joan went over with you last time, where there's a lot of repetition here. The four areas of practical life include care of environment, care of self, control of movement, and grace and courtesy. The tasks in all four of these areas are interesting to the child because the objects work, what? <laughs> Can't read your own writing. I need my readers. The task in all four of these areas are interesting to the child because the objects work, customs are familiar and reminiscent of everyday home life activities and cultures. So, you know, what they see their parents using, their teachers using, they're interested in. Children feel important when they perform the same ordinary everyday tasks and customs as their parents and teachers. The area of practical life exercises dedicated to control of movement assists children with coordination in all areas of motor planning development. That's the hugest part in our toddler environment. Giving young children every day real life experiences like pouring, spooning, using tongs, tweezing, cutting, and washing big spaces like windows and tables increase fine and gross motor ability as well as hand-eye coordination and depth perception. Also, such work gives the child the foundation needed for building language, writing, and reading skills. There's so many activities that we do that involve so, such long sequences and left to right movement. Some of the practical life exercises typical to the Montessori toddler environment involve care of person. These exercises give the young child practice with grooming, toileting. That is a very, very big thing in our house. We appreciate it. <laughs> and it was a very, very poopy day today. Um, I hope you have videos. No. <laughs> I don't think you would have liked that. I might have gotten arrested if we had this. Um, so, let's see. Toddlers, toddlers, even the diapering practices involve toddler taking part in the process, giving a toddler the responsibility for dressing him or herself and doing as much as possible in other areas of self-care builds confidence and independence. <clears throat> Practical life activities that focus on care of the environment are also found in our classroom. Work such as polishing, cleaning, carefully moving furniture, preparing carefully moving furniture, <laughs> as careful as they can be, little guys. Uh, preparing food, table setting, dishwashing, caring for plants and classroom pets helps young children feel like contributing members of the community. Children learn to take care of their classroom by cleaning up their own and other people's messes. Taking care of mishaps immediately takes the punishment or shame out of making a mistake and replaces it with an understanding of responsibility and pride for the classroom. So, you know, we don't say, oh, every time there's a skill that happens. <laughs> we say, oh, go get a rag. Oh, well. Um, the area of grace and courtesy is an important element. Um, and the practical life curriculum involving customs and gestures, promoting kindness and good citizenship. Children are taught to greet one another, be concerned for others, express their needs to friends and teachers, and practice common courtesies, such as covering coughs, saying excuse me when necessary, and helping friends in need. Grace and courtesy practices give children the realization that everyone has feelings that should be acknowledged, and cared for and prepares the young child for lifelong concern for humanity and good stewardship. Young children are very capable of and find great pleasure in being trusted with everyday work at home and at school. Parents can extend the practical life em emphasis of the Montessori environment at home by allowing the extra time it takes for children to be independent. Do any of you have toddlers? No. Um, yes, Joey, <laughs> that's right. Joey, this is for you. Dressing, grooming, and taking care of belongings are all tasks that children are capable of and mastering at home. Giving children responsibilities like table setting or helping with cooking, cleaning, gardening, and pet care give them a good sense of being a contributing member of a family and an important part of the household. Got it? Good. Okay. 
Trusting children with practical life activities helps children feel capable of achieving goals and the satisfaction of meeting expectations. All of the areas of practical life are important for young children to experience that they may develop independence, organization of body and mind, order and concentration. They also master the control of and attention to detailed involved in motor ability, both gross and fine. The child feels confident and happy to con contribute and succeed in everyday ordinary activities, building self-esteem, self-direction, and autonomy in young children is essential in giving children the responsibility and opportunity to help with household chores and tasks, work to construct the foundation of a successful and confident person. Okay. <laughs> now you can see the fun part. <laughs>